Hi, today we will be learning how to use the UV visible spectrophotometer. Before we begin, let us discuss the different types of cuvettes that you could use. These are the standard plastic cuvettes, which will be used for normal lab work. These, however, are quartz cuvettes. They are very expensive and should only be used for highly corrosive substances. Before turning on the machine, ensure that there are no cuvettes in the sample compartment. Turn on the main switch and the power switch located at the back of each unit. Wait for the machine to run the startup sequence and do not open the compartment during this time. Select F1 to change user, select Operator and press Enter twice to go to the main menu. To prepare the cuvettes, wash the cuvette with deionized water and rinse it with the solution you are about to use for the analysis. The cuvettes have two translucent sides and two clear sides. When handling the cuvettes, always handle them by the translucent sides and keep the clear sides clean at all times. Use the tissue paper to thoroughly wipe the clear sides of the cuvettes before use. Now, we'll learn how to find the wavelength of maximum absorption of a substance. First, we need to calibrate the machine. To do so, insert a prepared cuvette containing a blank solution into the machine. Place the cuvette in the first slot from the bottom, with the clear sides facing horizontally. Then, select Spectrum, Sample Compartment, Drive Cell Number, and change the value to 1. Return to the Spectrum page, select Scan Range, and adjust the Wavelength range according to what the experiment requires. Now, select Baseline Correction to calibrate the machine. Now that the machine is calibrated, remove the blank cuvette and replace it with the cuvette containing the solution for analysis. Press Start and wait for the machine to complete the analysis process. When the analysis is completed, select Zoom, Autoscale, Data Processing and Peak to read off the values of maximum absorption. Alternatively, you may use the arrow buttons to manually read the absorption values on the graph. To save the file to a thumb drive, plug the thumb drive into the back of the machine. Select Save Curve. Use the arrow, number, and enter keys to type out the name of the file to save as. Select Save and USB memory to save the file. To save a file to a thumb drive as a CSV file, select File Manager, USB memory, curve data, spectrum, and select the desired spectrum file. Select CSV conversion and select Yes. Overwrite any of the files if necessary. The UV visible spectrophotometer may also be used to find the absorbance of an unknown sample. To calibrate the machine, place a blank cuvette in the machine, select go to wavelength and select the desired wavelength. Then select auto zero to calibrate the machine. Replace the blank cuvette with a cuvette containing the unknown sample and the absorbance value will be shown on the top right of the screen. To analyze the absorbance of multiple unknown samples, select Photometric, Photometric again, and Sample Compartment. Adjust the drive cell number to the number of unknown samples you intend to analyze and return to the previous screen. Calibrate the machine with a blank cuvette as previously done. Insert the multiple unknown samples and press Start to obtain the absorbance values. Now, we will learn how to make a calibration curve. To do so, you will first need to prepare a micro pipette, standard flasks and cuvettes containing solutions of different known concentrations. Insert a blank cuvette into the machine. Select Quantitation, Sample Compartment, and adjust the drive cell number to the number of cuvettes you are going to use. Return to the previous page, select Measure, enter 1 lambda, and adjust the required input wavelength. Now select Method, Multipoint, and adjust the number of standard solutions. Press Enter and select Zero Intercept as Off. Select Auto Zero to begin the calibration process. When the process is completed, replace the blank cuvette with the prepared cuvettes of standard solutions. Press Start and input the concentration of the solutions for the corresponding cuvette. Select Multi-Cell Sequential Measurement and press Start. When the analysis is complete, select Calibration Curve to view the graph and Equation to view the equation of the graph. 